you got for us, Sophia? I need to think about it a little bit. Yeah. Anything? If, I, uh, this isn't too controversial, but if if a guy's like, hey, given the rarity that a guy is like, hey, let me take you out. Like that is when I'll go out with someone. Mm-hmm. If he does not get out of the car and op- given he picks me up, if he does not get out of the car and open my door for me, I'm not getting in the car. Wait. Like mm-hmm. a man should open um, my door. A man should mm-hmm. open your door. And if he doesn't, I'm not getting in the car. I will walk back into my apartment, you know. Okay, I, so you're talking about chivalry? Yes. Yes, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, like, these days, you, you, you know, the, the gender equality. We, we wanted equality, and the men have answered, right? So That's like, fine, yeah. but I'm not dating all of America. No, no, so no, 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 if, no, if, if a guy's... Like, right, so, like, what I'm trying to say is, like, you know, because I actually care about you guys and want you to be fulfilled. Like, maybe let him know that that might be an expectation. Because so these, these dudes these days, they think y'all want to be independent. Dudes will be respectful, but yeah. if, you've, if you've spoken to me enough to ask me out, probably have had a few conversations with you, and you, or I would probably not go out with you. Mm-hmm. If he can't pick that up about me, then. Well, well that's that's kind of, that's, I, don't think, I, mean, I don't think they will. That's like, kind of <laughs> dog shit communication, no offense. She like, said it was a guy needs to assume, oh, yeah. hold on, a guy needs to assume that you want his car, the car door open? Yes, a guy should assume I want him to be the man. They're, they're not going to go open I mean, it. bro, that's, uh, the I think you're asking for a lot. three dates I've been on, they've gone out of the car and opened my door. Oh, well, okay, so keep doing So I'm, doing. I'm dating like, the right effective. guys. That's what I'm it's trying effective. to say. You said what's my most controversial take. I wouldn't get in the car with a guy who doesn't open my door. Wait, so hold on. You've planned a date and he, has that ever happened? No. Because oh. I don't say yes to guys that I don't think would open my door, and I've happened to be right. I mean, it's not going on all that many dates, but, so it's not like hold no, on, no, no, no. no, no but it's it's to me, it's plausible that you would encounter a guy that you otherwise think is fantastic, but he's not picking up on your very covert cues of no, I maybe I, he I, spra- strained his back earlier on in the day. Then he could he tell me. Th- well, you can, you can oh, he come can, on. You'll can, work through wait, a strained back, on. buddy. So we can go can, on a date. You can work through a strained back. I, you know, if I got to the car and he didn't get out, maybe I'd go to the driver's side and I'd say hi. And if he didn't stand up and get out and greet me, shake my hand, give me a hug, whatever, I, I would, you know, probably be like, okay, well, it was nice to see you. And if he did get out, I would walk over to my side and I would not touch the door. Mm-hmm. My, like my parents, my, my dad opens my door when I'm home. My dad opens my door. Yeah. doesn't matter where I am. So it sounds, like, it sounds like you're dating like conservative men. So it means like that. What you're doing is, is good and effective because you have multiple, you have replicated this thing. Yeah. You've replicated it three times. You've selected men who open the door for you and they, they can tell or they already know. Mm-hmm. So what you're doing is good. However, like I do want, like for the women that are watching before you throw that man away, you might want to let him know that that's <laughs> something that you expect or value. Okay. Cause she's, she was raised right. Okay. Right? <laughs> but uh, the rest of y'all, you know, just be considerate. Cause these dudes are not mind readers. Like I can't tell you open how many your door was the- I'm not your servant. That's really yep. funny. That's fine. Yep. You're my, not my, my husband servant. Opens my door. My husband opens my door. But you know what I will say? Like when I first met my nah. husband, I opened my door um, a, a lot, like quite a bit. And then something happened where we fell into these very traditional yeah. gender roles for us or, or conventional. And he just like magically started opening my door every single time. And now he opens my doors like consistently. And it was just something that he did. And I thought that was like a really interesting yeah. change where you can bring that masculinity. Yeah, out that, of that's, that's amazing. That's yeah. fantastic. Mm-hmm. Somebody remove that piece of oh my God. yeah um i mean i just i think that so much of it like at this point in my life i'm not trying to i don't want to say find a charity case where i have to teach a boy manners like Look. my little 14 year old brother opens my door when i'm home too like the okay i expect that the floodgates are open we are not put what's that term not putting it back what, there there's a, a saying um you can't put the toothpaste the, the back door in the cats out of the bag <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them. In any case, feminism is here. We have gender equality. You can open your own door. Yes, I can. I can physically open my own door. But, you know, it... Nope. For me, anyways. For me. So you would... I, if, if you're going on a date with a woman, would you open her door? So I'm picking... First off, I would never pick up a girl on a date. What? I don't know. Why, why is that shocking? You I would, would never... Her drive to you and pick you up? N- or well, you, I would meet her. her. Well, I would meet her there. Okay, the then place. that's fine. You're just not the kind of guy that I think that a, a woman who values a manly man would do. You know, that's a, a man should do that. 
Well, I, well, I disagree. I would, say, I would say conservative because there's like there's plenty of. Uh, it's rare these days, but there are masculine liberal men. They're just like no, like we just have these this equality. We have an egalitarian relationship. Mm-hmm. So like I I get where you're coming from, and your strategy is effective. I think like a better question to ask is like what's your plan in the long run? Let's say you land this guy and he doesn't live up to certain expectations, like. He are stops you, opening my door? No, is, not not because the, the door is small. Yeah. But we're talking about, like, we have very, very high standards. And I know you do. And it's because your parents raised you well, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, hopefully, like, you can get what you're looking for in the dating market, right? But it's like, what's going to happen? You end up in this long-term relationship where you're married, and he uh, isn't meeting an expectation or a standard. Uh, then I would communicate it with him. Okay. If, if I, when I decide I like a person, if I am... Guys, let her talk. If I am in a relationship with a person, at that point, I respect them enough to, to have a conversation and communicate. But I do have a high standard to even considering. Okay. To let me tell you why I don't think the guy should open the door and do all, pick you up and okay. do all the The genie's out of the bottle. Thank you to whoever, whoever said oh. that. <laughs> and maybe the chat's going to disagree. Look, traditional gender roles are gone. They're done. The, the f- cat's out the bag, whatever the f- Yeah. Look modern women i'm not gonna do the the nice guy thing i'm not gonna be the gentleman if she's not a lady and most women are not ladies right so that's why you're not not dating most women have some standards for yourself and say i'm not going out with a girl who you know wouldn't act like a lady if that's what you're into you know if you're into some weird then you're into some weird but i know like (laughs) I can't think of what the the inverse of a man not opening the door would be. So I I, I don't exactly know how to compare the situation, but the men that I'm looking to date are high value men who are looking for a high value woman, which I strive to be. That's important to me. And so I do expect my door to be opened and I will act like a lady. Do you want want the guy to pay? Do you believe in gender equality? I believe that men and women are equal but for completely different reasons women have pros women have cons men have pros men have cons i think it's the most beautiful symbiotic relationship created by god and that's why our world works sophia what were you gonna say i was gonna bring up the pay thing because an opinion for me i don't i guess it's controversial now i think a guy should pay for the girl when they go out to dinner i think do you consider yourself a feminist i don't i wouldn't say like do you believe in gender equality yeah. So why should why should the guy have to pay for you on the first Just date? Just like what Lindsay's saying, I think that I ex- there's a difference we can um, separate. Okay, so things. are you guys traditional women? That's a that's a really broad question. I think that you're well, if, you're if, expecting men to adhere to their traditional gender roles. Are you a traditional woman yourself? Because you don't equality is not a buffet where you get to pick and choose that which benefits you and you say no to that which doesn't Mm -hmm. well can you give me some traditional women behaviors that i can Mm -hmm. you know i do or don't do this Mm -hmm. well i mean oh i mean so yeah i I can do this um so and it's not you gotcha we're just Mm -hmm. like we're playing with mental models here so like you said your parents raised you conservative Mm -hmm. so i'm going to ask you a question question but before i ask you the question i'm going to let you know like i'm christian so my next question is are you christian no, I'm Jewish. Okay. Okay, but you're Abrahamic. I'm kind of a bad Jew. Like I, you know, I went to temple growing up. I'm a. I would consider myself a spiritual person, not okay. religious. Do you think that you hold Jewish values? Yes. Okay. So, like, how, do you understand the concept of submission when it comes to women? I I understand the concept. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so, when it comes to like, if we're talking. Oh. Alvin Sam super chatted ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I had enough. Girl in the middle, you want chivalry, but you sound extremely combative and entitled. Are you traditional or entitled? If you want chivalry, you better be soft-spoken and gentle. (laughs) You are neither. Can I? I want to just butt in here a little bit. I understand what you're saying about opening the door, but my boyfriend opens my door and I reach over and I open his. You know, I understand that, like, I've never had a boy that opens my door, but then I never open another boy's door. You know what I mean? I get that it's equal it's hand in hand there's supposed to be something that comes with that and with the paying with the meal if someone asks me on a date i expect them to pay for my meal because you asked me on the date mm-hmm. okay i've yeah. asked a guy like you know i hey want to go get ice cream sure i'll pay for some fucking mm-hmm. ice cream but <laughs> i do believe in roles in a relationship and i think that that's controversial and i think that a woman has her place and a man has her place and i think they're her place. different <laughs> and they well man has his place too and they yeah. serve both very different things and mm-hmm. i 
completely think that that's controversial and that's my hot take on mm-hmm. it um so like to thank, very, thank you but i'm still like trying to like work with this particular example okay. because a lot of the times we'll ha- um we'll have like christian values or we'll say we're traditional or we'll have jewish values because mm-hmm. the are still abrahamic Jew- jewish um like uh, theology still holds submission for women right mm-hmm. um do you believe that women should be unconditionally submissive no okay okay well i mean do you, like, do you mean to like to their husbands yeah or yes this is a husband partners no because people are not perfect and oh, i believe oh, 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 like so good okay but follow me here do you think that your man should love you unconditionally no Okay, so then, well, then you have more, like, leeway with that, right? So it's, like, I think the question is more more so, how traditional are you? I, I am not super traditional. Okay. I, you know, I, I believe that, they're, like, I'm certainly not orthodox. Like, there's a long range. But I think that in today's society, mm-hmm. I would be considered more traditional and conservative than most people. Mm-hmm. So I think, like, the bigger question, because you have, like, uh, these high standards for your man, right? Mm-hmm. What are you prepared to offer him? Well, myself. But like, well, what do you think that you, okay, the kind of wife that you're, you would want your son to have, what would you expect her to offer him? Well, are, are we talking personality? Like, I, I, I think I'm a very kind, loving, loyal, you know, supportive, supportive more than anything, loyal again. Um, you know, I, I love to take care of people. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I, I find myself pretty maternal. I want to be a mom so badly one day. My goal in life is to be a great mom and a good, a great wife. And mm-hmm. so that's what I have to bring to the table. Okay. So are you prepared to be of service to your man? It, it depends on, you know, what extent are we going to that? Well, just like he loves you, takes care of you. That's the premise. Mm-hmm. You're married. Yeah. Right? He protects, provides. Are you willing to be of service to him? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So then, then like your standards make sense. But it's just like when, we're like if you're gonna, you know, like when you no, I understand. Opinion, I feel like yeah. you have a lot of blonde-haired bimbos on here saying, "I want this and I want that," and they don't back it up. I feel like there's been some assumption everywhere. There's that some, been I, some brunette bimbos too. Don't, uh, oh, don't okay. Leave so them you out. get what you get. What I'm coming at, like I understand that people look at me. You know, I don't dress the most conservatively. Like I, I enjoy fashion. I like to do my thing. But I, I just think it was off the bat like this girl's probably a dumbass like the rest of them like and i totally understand because Mm -hmm. unfortunately i walk into the most rooms believing most people are that way anyways because Mm -hmm. it's so common Mm -hmm. so i just think okay we weren't making those assumptions about you at least i wasn't i was just like playing um, with mental models okay okay my Mm -hmm. my whole thing though is with the car door opening thing okay you mentioned that you want the guy to pay for you on the first date. Let me go around the table really quick on this. 